All right, you guys, ZFR back here once again with another video. It's been a second since we talked about Netflix's The Witcher, but this week, man, they have just been dropping a ton of news because the show is almost out. It comes out the 20th of this month, and I'm very excited to watch and review the first season. Can't wait for it. So, yeah, with this being said, um, pretty much I'm super excited about this first season and they just released a ton of feats of rats, um, going over the three main characters that we're going to be seeing throughout the first season, which is of course Geralt himself, Ciri, and Yennefer. And man, these feats of rat videos have really boosted my hype for the show. I, I've already been kind of saying that this show looks like it's going to be a lot better than we initially um, kind of thought it might have been. But now, after seeing these feats of rats, like getting our first real proper look at some of these scenes, at some of the fight scenes and the choreographing and stuff like that, man, this this looks amazing i'm not gonna lie to you guys um the really cool thing that i love the most about these feats of rats um was that we got a better look at some of the monsters and the fight scenes like i just said um when Geralt's fighting the kiki more that that looks insane man like i'm not gonna lie that really got me hyped to see more of this show and see what they do um, with these characters and everything like that and when I when I said earlier I think I did say at one point in one of my other videos that I was a little worried they might um, go a little overboard with the Yennefer and Siri backstories you know trying to make them um, because you know at one point I think it was rumored that the show was going to have Siri as the main protagonist when the Witcher is you know the story of a Witcher <laughs> you know what I'm saying um, but I'm really interested to see their stories because it looks like um, they are going all out with their stories as well and they actually look good you know it looks we were all worried let's just keep it straight we were all worried that this show was going to be f filled with, you know, some SJW writing moments and stuff um, like that. And don't get me wrong, I guess there's always still a possibility, but I don't really think so after seeing a lot of this footage and stuff and just seeing, um, you know, some of the later interviews. Henry Cavill, of course, just did an interview and he was doing major work for um, the show in that interview, kind of trying to win a lot of the fans back there. And I think he did a good job with his response to that reporter about the toxic fandom, you know, saying it's the fans' right to feel how they want. Um, because, you know, stuff, it, the Witcher, I've said this a bunch of times, but the Witcher is a pretty tight-knit universe. And when you start changing stuff, um... It, people are going to ask, well, is there reasons behind these changes or uh, did you think these changes through or are you just doing this to say, hey, look, we have this in here, we have that in there, you know, all of the um, social justice reasons and stuff like that, which usually kind of um, lead to them ignoring good writing, but that doesn't look to be the case in The Witcher. So hopefully we definitely will get to um see more of this when it comes out um hopefully will it'll be as good as we're all hoping it's gonna be to me right now from what i'm seeing this junk looks amazing i'm not gonna lie it really does especially the y yennefer feats right man listen i've been telling people for months i i got a good feeling about this chip they picked to play yennefer like even back when she first got casted and people were like, uh, she doesn't really look like Yennefer and stuff like that. I've always been kind of slightly disagreeing because to me, for one, she does look like Yennefer. And especially in this trailer more than all of the others, she looks like Yennefer. And on top of that, um, just like getting a glimpse at everybody's acting skills a little bit more with these feats of rats, she looks like she's going to kill the role as Yennefer, so I'm excited about that. 
And then, of course, last but not least, we do have Siri. And pretty much a lot of people worried about this one still because, you know, obviously the character in the show is going to be a lot older than the character was in the books. But I don't know. Um, as long as they remix it um, properly and, you know, they don't try to act like this is like a six or seven or nine-year-old little girl or however old Siri was in the books as long as they do it properly I don't think they're going to have any problems with it because um, it seems like she's a pretty skilled actor as well and I think and so far what we saw in the featurette to me looks good you know the direction they're going with Siri's story it looks like a very accurate start to her story you know of a young Siri and to me, it looks like a good setup to her growing into, you know, the badass Witcher that we know, that we all want to see her become, or the Witcheress, or whoever you want to call it. Um, but that's only if they go that route. Technically, that's not really even confirmed. That was something that happened in the games. But, you know, they kind of go that route in the books, definitely. So, we're definitely going to see a crazy awesome series later on. Um, in different seasons and stuff so I think what we saw here was a good setup and start for that um, but overall yeah the show looks amazing the the scene setup the, this is not cheap by the way like they went all out Netflix is pouring money into this which is smart they definitely should because obviously the Witcher 3 um, has been one of the most popular games this generation so this show already has like a lot of eyes on it right from the beginning. So it's very smart that they're pouring a lot of money into this. The scenes, the props, everything looks really good. The acting skills, I have not seen a bad, uh, one bad instance of acting yet from any of the trailers or anything that we've seen so far. Um, so I'm very excited to just kind of finally watch this thing so yeah that's how I'm feeling about the Witcher TV show and so far it's looking pretty amazing Netflix looks like they're going to do a good job with this I know people like to joke around about Netflix originals but in my opinion they're getting pretty good um so yeah with that being said I'm excited tell me what you guys think down below we're almost there December 20th anyway thanks for watching guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button for more witzer content and i will see you guys on the next one zfr out